Pontiac Motor Division came into existence in 1926 and it exited the automobile industry in 2010. As Pontiac Motors was tearing down their now defunct plants in Pontiac, Michigan, I was able to get my hands on some photographs that they had in their article archives so I want to uh, share these with you and why wouldn't they since I worked at that old Pontiac Motor Division I had the opportunity to follow those majestic vehicles as they were being made follow them all the way down the assembly line they were magnificent the GTO set the bar very high for the high performance automobiles in the 1960s and 70s you have to take care of it. The GTO, one of the Pontiac Motor Division, Pontiac. actually started out as the Pontiac Buggy Company in the late teen hundreds. This is the total workforce of the C. V. Taylor Buggy Company in 1888. The firm's the firm's building was located in downtown Pontiac, Michigan. In 1863, Pontiac buggies came from this factory, followed in 1907 by a sideline, the Oakland Motor Car, which in turn was followed by the Pontiac, the Chief of the Sixes, in 1926. The phrase, Chief of the Sixes, means that that was the first inline six-cylinder engine in the Pontiac vehicles. Chief Pontiac was from the Ottawa tribe, and he was likely born around the 1720s along the Detroit River. This picture of the hill climbing of the cars was a little bit more than just proving how powerful they were at that time, but it was also to show that this could outperform horses pulling buggies. So that was the purpose of that. These are the employees of the Oakland Car Company in 1910. Looks like this couple is enjoying their brand new sedan, 1910. Here's a couple of ads for these early Oakland motor cars. Very reasonably priced, as you can see. While you're looking at these pictures, I want to share a little bit of information about John DeLorean. John DeLorean was born on January 6, 1925 and died March 19, 2005. He was an American engineer, inventor, and executive in the U.S. automobile industry. Widely known for his work at General Motors and the Fair founder of the DeLorean Motor Company. That's right, he was a founder of the DeLorean Automobile, which is used in Back to the Future, the DeLorean Automobile. John DeLorean was known as the founder of the Pontiac GTO, which was based in Pontiac, Michigan. John attended the Detroit Public Schools and went to Lawrence Institute of Technology for his college degree. In 1943, John was drafted into the Army and he served three years. After his military service, which interrupted his education at Lawrence Tech, he went back and got his degree. After getting his degree, he worked at several different places before he finally settled on General Motors and Pontiac Motor Division as his place of employment. In 1956 is when he started working for General Motors. John was credited for being the father of the GTO. Since I worked in a factory where he was the product engineer, it was rumored that he had to go behind the ser his supervisor's back in order to create the Pontiac GTO. He was moved up the ladder quite rapidly and a lot of the other higher officials did not like a young person coming in and kicking them out of their position, so they made it extremely difficult on him. Because of all the infighting that he had to suffer through, he finally had enough, and on April 2nd, 1973, he announced that he was leaving the company for good. 
Now this is where the story of his life gets really interesting. In the mid-70s, he decided to create his own car company called the DeLorean, which is a 100% stainless steel bodied vehicle. He opened his factory in suburb of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Due to the bad timing and the economic situation, his car did not do very well, so uh, he ended up going into bankruptcy. Since he needed money, on April 19, 1982, John DeLorean was charged by the U.S. government of trafficking cocaine following a videotaped sting operation. Those charge, charges were ultimately dismissed because he was framed. He was totally set up. 